The next section that we're going to work on with this folio is going to be the inside section of the folio, which is right here. What we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and fold this, this piece that came with your kit. There's a, a piece of sewing there, and we're just going to fold that along that line to make that waterfall. And I'm going to use my bone folder and just crease that really well. And we're going to go ahead and set that aside. This is the part that we're working on now. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside now that you know what we're working on. You're going to need a piece of paper that is 12 inches by 10 inches. And what you need to do with that is score that at 2.5 inches on either end, two and a half inches on either end. Then you also need two sheets of five by 10 paper. We're also going to make four by six photo mats, eight four by six photo mats. So you will need eight four and a half by six and a half and eight four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Go ahead and put those photo mats together. Put adhesive on the back of this, obviously. And you'll put together eight photo mats that look something like that. I'll meet you back here in just a minute when you get that finished. Now that we have our photo mats made, our eight photo mats made, we're going to concentrate on this section. The first two and a half strip that we score, we're going to fold over this way and back this way. We're going to measure a half an inch in with a little tick mark. We're going to do the same thing on the other end, half an inch in. A little tick mark. Before I put adhesive all over this little half inch section that we've marked off, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive because I would like for this to be able to fold in when I take my 5 inch by 10 inch piece and I stick it down where we just made those 5 inch lines. I need for this to be able to fold inside like this without covering this score mark. And it just covers the score mark just a little, little bit. So, I need this to be able to fold this way. So, when I, I'm going to remove this. When I put my score tape on, this section where I made these two pencil marks. Let me just get that off. Where I made these two pencil marks right here. I'm going to go just a little further above the two pencil marks. So, to make absolutely sure that this is not going to go over this score line, I'm going to take my piece of five and a half, I mean, excuse me, don't listen to me, five by ten cardstock, and I'm going to line it up 
on that score line right there. And I'm going to hold that in place. I'm going to remove my score tape. Like so. And I'm going to fold that down on top of my piece. Now I know that that's going to work. Alright, now I want it to fold over the top just like that. Oop, oop. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of paper and set it down. And I'm going to close that right over the top of it so that we have something that looks just like this. place that this is going to go in our book is going to be right on top of this. I want this waterfall piece to be about <coughs> half an inch away from the side. I've already got my score tape covered on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this waterfall piece down. Be a little bit careful when you get ready to lay this down in place. With this much score tape, it's going to want to stick the first time. I'm going to go where my edges are. It's just about right. I'm going to go ahead and lay that down. This piece that we're making right now is going to go right here. And so that this piece, when it's finished, will fold out this way. So this bottom flap is going to be glued down and I don't want to lose sight of where I need my mats, my photo mats to go. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to make an X on that so that I don't forget where I need to go with it. I'm going to go ahead and fold this up and set it aside. This is going to be the cover of the piece that we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to very lightly in the center write cover so that I don't forget that my photo mats do not need to go there. So, with that in mind, I'm going to put my photo mats in here, just like about so. I'm going to go ahead and stick those all down, and then I'll be back to show you guys. I'm back with my piece. This is my cover. This is the back where we put our X, and I've gone ahead and put score tape all over the back of that. So you may want to pause the video and go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my folio now. I'm going to open my folio up.
I don't want mine to go all the way. Make sure that you've got it oriented before you lay it down where it's going to open in the right direction. I don't want mine to lay all the way over to the black piece. I do want it about centered. I'm going to go ahead and turn my rings around. I want it to go right about there. I'm going to go ahead and press this down really well. And now this component in the folio opens this way to give you another opportunity for a whole lot of photos. So we'll be back to start on the waterfall flap momentarily.